Happy Friday, Raptors. We hope everyone had a great week and are ready for the weekend. I'm Taylor Todd. I'm Katie Briggs. And I'm Haley Diggs. This past week was full of fun events here at Ravenwood, so stay tuned, Raptors. Last Friday, to get students fired up for the Battle of the Woods basketball game, we held a pep rally. We had a high participation level, which made for an exciting day. Broadcasting three students have all the highlights on what went down. Enjoy! Thanks to all the students, faculty, and parents who came out to the game. With more regarding sports, Perts and Parks Perspective had a fun time this week talking about all the news. Enjoyed this week's edition with Broadcasting 3 students, Jack, Blake, and Austin. I'm Austin Pert. And I'm Jack Parks. And this is Perts. And Parks Perspective. And then we just have to be tuned in, okay? We've thrown a lot at you the last few days. We are ready to play. It comes down to you guys matching their intensity for 32 minutes. We believe in you as coaches, believe in yourself, have the confidence to go out and make plays, do what you do, and we get a win. Are we clear about that? Let's go. And Elon Smallwood, we mentioned he does it all. He's gonna jump it for Ravenwood. And the Raptors on their home court have it first. We're underway in Brentwood. Hey! Zone three! Seth! Zone three! Zone three! Come side! Attack! Okay? So look, all we need is one run and tighten this thing up. Britain! Up top! Circle movement! Up top! 12 point lead now for the Bruins. And the Raptors answer. That's a big three for 2D. Go see here, we get a dunk, we get the crowd into it, we get a stop, and everything turns, okay? Wait for them to hit the horn. Dribble drag if they're in zone. Is everybody clear? Hey, we're gonna have to mix it up. Two red, third red. We gotta keep the pressure on. You guys, what we're doing? They're taking quick shots. The pressure now. Okay? You guys are gonna have to be physical and rebound. Everybody clear? Let's go. Play hard on three. One, two, three. Play hard. A little bit of a delay now. Smallwood driving aggressively up and under. Got it and a foul. And one right here. Another opportunity to make it. A, it's already a one possession game. He comes off, open shot in the corner. In the corner, got it! And this game is tied! Mickelson for three! You don't want to 
foul in this situation. The ball on a back. What the Bruins do? Is it Kellen King? Is it Reed Smith or somebody else? It's Kellen King. And it's no good. The rebound is loose. It's out of bounds. And it's going to Ravenwood. The clock at zero. One second. Looks like it's going to be Smallwood. Here we go. A miracle. It's in the air, a whistle. He oh made my it. God. He made it. Oh my God. But it's not going to count. It's not going to count. I it's, told oh you. Man. Get off the floor. Get off the floor. The game is not over. Get off the floor. We are all good. You understand me? All right. So after. What's his, what's his call? It, does, it doesn't matter. Hey. Hey. We got one timeout. Thurman, fade away for 15, got it! Two seconds left and a timeout taken by Brentwood. Time players make big time plays. He's wearing the number 32 in his home court gym. Fans going crazy. The clock has zero, but they will put time back on. They're gonna put 2.7. 2.7 will go on the clock. The official just in front of us told that to Greg Shirley. Yes, you can't roll it. Switch screens, no one gets behind you. Contest and do not foul. Thurman and King in front of him. Now looking up toward the length of the floor. It's grabbed by Anderson. Ravenwood's got it. And the Raptors have won it in double overtime. On Saturday, we were also busy at Ravenwood, holding the 7th annual Mr. IHS. We had a huge turnout and everyone had a great time watching the show. Congratulations to the following winners. Cecil Walsh won Mr. GQ, Jacob Castillo won Mr. Wishful, Austin Hardesty won Most Talented, and Ienda Bonds won Mr. IHS. It was a really fun night and Ravenwood raised the most money out of the past years with a grand total of $6,141. Thanks to everyone who came out and donated. We hope this night continues to grow each year with everyone's support. In academic news, Ravenwood's upcoming students are choosing courses for next school year. Nursing is becoming a popular choice around campus, which includes many aspects of training. Here are Broadcasting 3 students Monica and Ashley with what you need to know when applying for the nursing program here at school. Hi, I'm Tiffany Hyde. I'm the nursing instructor here at Ravenwood High School. I'm also the Career and Technical Education Department Chair for all the programs that we offer here at Ravenwood. I started this nursing program about eight years ago, back in 2009, um, and it's been just, just a, so much fun to see all these students who have an interest in a healthcare field, whether it's nursing, pre-med, physical therapy. I've had some orthodontist students, um, pre-pharmacy students come through the program, um, and they just really said how much this program has helped them kind of get ready for their college experience and the clinical situations that they'll be in, no matter what healthcare field they study there. So it's been a lot of fun um, to see them kind of grow. That's probably been my favorite part about this program is to see students come through the program um, where they come in and they're kind of shy, maybe unsure about if this is what they want to do as a career, um, and then they continue on down their journey in the college years. And they come back to me, and sometimes I'll give speakers to my classroom, but they come back and they tell me how much it has helped them, um, you know, in their collegiate uh, education. Hi, my name is Emma Good. I'm a senior at Ravenwood High School, and I joined the nursing program because I want to be a pediatric oncology nurse when I get older. Hi, I'm Macy Chambers. I'm also a senior at Ravenwood High School, and I decided to join nursing because I want to end up being a pediatrician, so I thought that nursing would be a good way to get my foot in the door for medical things. Hi, I'm Ellie Bogle, and I joined the nursing program because I am wanting to study nursing in college, and I'm wanting to be a travel nurse in the future, so I just took this opportunity to get ahead in my studies and
start learning for the future. I decided to join the nursing program because I would like to be a pediatric nurse when I grow up and getting the chance to get your CNA certification is a really good opportunity before going to college for nursing. I am part of the Ravenwood nursing program and I joined it because I'm going to go into nursing in college and it's just a great experience. I'd highly recommend it because um, it helps us dip our feet in the water and get used to the clinical setting and the hospital setting um, that we're about to start next month. So it's a super great program and you should try it out. Thanks for the information. From the start of the new semester, students have really been stepping it up around school. Here are Broadcasting 3 students Jackson, Jeff, Lane, and Matt with this week's segment of Step It Up. Step it up. So you may be wondering why we're in the. You may be thinking to yourself why we're in the parking lot today. And you may be thinking to yourself, Mr. Step It Up guy, why are we stepping it up outside? We Step It Up supposed to be stepping it up inside. Well, we're stepping it up outside today on how to step it up in your car. Step it up. Step one of Step It Up Safety in the Car, put on your seat belt. Click. Step two of Step It Up Safety in the Car, adjust your mirrors. Step four of stepping it up in the car, keep your eyes on the road. Bonus step. Ah. Look both ways before you cross the street. I'm Jackson Leffler and I'm here with part of the math team and Dr. Vaden uh, to award the Step It Up Award for the month of January. Dr. Vaden, why do you think these teachers deserve to win for this month? Well, Jackson, you did such a wonderful job with the Step It Up Award and these math teachers did such a wonderful job the first semester and they will tell you more about why they were nominated. Well, as many of you know, we lost Miss Jordan at the end of the first nine weeks because her husband got transferred and we didn't want her students to fall behind. So the teachers that you see here were willing to give up a planning period in order to go in and make sure that those students maintained the learning and didn't fall behind their peers that were in similar classes. We just wanted to say congratulations uh, for winning the Step It Up Award for the month of January. Step it up, Raptors!
Good job, guys. We enjoyed making this week's news as we had very big events held here at Ravenwood. I'm Taylor Todd. I'm Katie Briggs. And I'm Haley Diggs. Be safe and enjoy your weekend, Raptors. We'll be back again next week. Yeehaw. Yeehaw.